Hi, Woody Warwick here, and welcome back to Football Manager 2020, um, where we are on a bit of a run of poor results. Um, now, strictly speaking, they've been pretty tough games. Um, you know, we've got Wickham, who were uh, who are now in fifth. Um, Cambridge, who are now twelfth. That was away from home. Uh, we then beat Forest Green, who was struggling. That was a convincing victory. We then drew with Wolves, who were a league above us. We then lost against Charlton, who are now second. We then lost at Sheffield Wednesday, who are now sixth. And then we lost against Wolves, who are second in the Championship, in the replay of the Cup. Um, today we have another tough game, which is against MK Dons, who are now fourth, as we've dropped to ninth. Um, but we actually have two games in hand on pretty much everyone except uh, Tranmere. And if we won both of those games, it would actually take us above Milton Keynes. So um, a draw at home would not be a bad result to, to sort of stem um, stem the bleeding, I guess. Um, but a win would, would be absolutely positive. A defeat could be quite catastrophic because um, we then need to get back to winning ways against Wigan, um, Bristol Rovers, uh, and then we'd be away at Bolton. So, um, you know, this could be a, a start of turning the tide. Um, they are, you know, if we won those four games, Ipswich becomes winnable, Fleetwood's winnable, Doncaster's winnable, Fleetwood's winnable, uh, Lincoln's winnable, Accrington's winnable. Everything in February becomes so much simpler. Um, we then get into um, March and again everyone's mid-table or lower. Um, that becomes, a, a, you know, quite an easy, um, you know, two-month period then. Um, and even as we go forward, you know, we've got Sunderland away on the 13th of April. Uh, first is, is Tranmere on the 20th. We've then we've got Wickham who are fifth and, and Oxford who are seventh. So the last four games of the season become tricky. But if you can put a good run of results here and, and actually make sure you're already in the in, in, in the automatic or playoff spots by, by the 6th, by the end of the 6th, all of that becomes uh, almost obsolete and, and, and cherry on top moment. Um, but that's easier said than done. MK Don's game could be the thing that is the catalyst to it all. So let's move on. Um, remember this, put a note in your diary for the day that I said this, and in five or six games time when we've lost them all on the trot, you can come back and laugh at me. Um, we still don't have a uh, striker um, uh, signed. That, that you know We'd like a much better striker than what we've got. Uh, Cavallo... Uh, let's see if we can get rid of offer the clubs for 20 grand We're trying to reduce our wage bill here uh, transfer Dylan Stevenson out for uh, free and percentage in next sale 25% um, Tom Herdman offer the clubs for free and 25% uh, um, what was Hickey will just ignore he's not actually paid that much anyway um, Leo Fish, CJ all of these are okay we don't want rid of them Bridge we do um, off at the clubs 10 grand and 25% Angle for the clubs for 60 grand and 25% So we can reduce our wage bill and at the same time get a little bit of cash in for some of these players that might help from a finance point of view uh, we're 200 grand in debt wages wise we can only offer up to 2000 uh, which is where the problem kicks in so you know we can't really attract a better striker until we get rid of some of the the waste that we have uh, Rossetti um, Energy next sale twenty five percent and Volpe um, where we 
go. Let's see what effect that has. See if anyone comes in at all for them. York. So, have they offered us exactly what we've asked for? 60,000, 25% of the next sale. And his contract is up in the summer. Cheltenham also want him. And his current contract. So we do have an option to extend it by a year. Which is always an option, I guess. But I don't think we want him. Um, York got paying his wages, so it's not going to help us there at the minute. Um, here. It's just not good enough. So simple one to accept. Um, transfer. Far off from because we just have, I guess. Uh, under 18 has got smashed against Sheffield Wednesday. Well, he's, he looks decent. Scout him. And Dempsey. That's Portland in front of the goal, but let's give him a scout anyway. Okay. Um. So we are getting some players back. MK Dons now coming up. We're in poor form and we're against fair form. So they're replacing a defeat with what happens today. We're replacing a win. So if we fail to win today, we haven't won in our last five and that is going to be pretty tough on morale. Um, just notice Charlton, oh no they're not, uh, Tranmere are top. Uh, with a game in hand in fact but Sunderland have hit a bit of a blip okay um here's our team lineup um McLaughlin is on the bench and um, Broher is out still for another three up to three months Tom Scott up to three months Wright Phillips is back Sanderson is on the comeback trail as is Hume uh, well not really the trail I guess but he's uh, making a comeback Barrett's played a few games now. In fact, he's played two games and uh, made four substitute appearances uh, in the league, that is. He's got two assists. He's also played two games and made a substitute appearance in the FA Cup. So good for him. Um, he's on the development list. And he has potential. Good for you, young man. Um, but you are now going to drop out. Oops, didn't mean to take you out. But let's take all the subs off. McLaughlin is going to be number one. Right, okay. So we've got McGlaw, Wolcott, and Ogungbo. Wolcott, Garai, McGlaw, and Ogungbo. Okay. Um, any of them needing a rest? Walcott does. So Walcott, you can go to number two. And Garai in the side. Chris McGlaw. There we go. We've then got De Costa right back and Uglumber at left back. Wing backs, that is. Um, we've got a midfield pretty much in place. Well, the income is going to be roaming playmaker, you can be advanced playmaker, and you can be Carolero. Can you be a Metzala? Yes, you can. Okay, this is two up front. We're obviously going to have to see what we do about three up front, but uh, Rossetti. I'm not going to play. 
It's certainly not going to start anyway. Um, Issoufarge, there you go. You can play it as a supporting target man. Right, uh, Longello. Um, no, Sanderson. Fana, Longello, White Phillips, and is it Rosetti or Volpe? Volpe. No, it's not Rosetti. There we go. Okay, so that I think is the team we're going to go with. No one looks too naked. Garay is okay. Um, Bergstrom, clearly the right choice of goalkeeper. Let's go. Oh, we don't have anyone in the team that ticks that box. So Rosetti's going to miss out and we're going to have to go down to the under 23s and select Barrett. So we'll swap him and him, so Walcott can actually have a rest. There we go, that's what we're going to have to do, I think. This is far as he's not going to play for the reserves. And Ugly Umber is a yellow card away from a, a ban. Um, let's get at it. Let's go. So we could do with a good turnout today as well. Because uh, obviously the average is important as well. And it's maybe about three and a half thousand in the crowd. I'm looking at that one stand. Um, as we put a bit of pressure on. Got eye to Onyinka. Inside the Sanders. It's really tight in that midfield. But De Costa has it now. Chance to cross. Pulls it back to the Safarge. Can't do anything with it. Sanders, free kick out on the right. Good cross in, Garay over the top. What a way to welcome you. You called that, that would have been Charlton winning at Wickham. Ugalumba to Olienka. Ugalumba loses Olienka again, goes long. Sewell gets knocked down off through Safarge and buries it. That's his fifth for the season. Great goal. A lovely bit of vision here from Olienka. This is far wins the header. Gives it to Sewell. It's exactly how a target line should work. And he just buries it past the keeper. Wonderful goal. Are we actually going? Yeah, we are aiming at the target line. That's how you use it properly. So, Fleetwood leading against Cambridge. Sewell off to a great start inside 10 minutes. And he's goal scoring drought. Sunderland lead over Doncaster. Abu Kar, Abu, Abu Kar, Kamara. Quarter of the game gone. Jimenez gets the second for Sunderland. Sanders, dangerous free kick on the right. A gun goal. This is. Should have hit the target at least to a pink. And Kay Don's recycling on the ball. Ward has it to Houghton. Okay, there's a good chance by De Costa. But they get the ball back in and Kakai Kai Kai scores. Right against the winning player. That's his 11th of the season. We don't have a striker scoring like that, except maybe Broha. We have to build again. Ian 
take it away if the forest flips it on, but not with any intent. Ward blow to Danson's side, Shelton and Kai Kai get to touch Bergstrom. Wonderful reflex save. Down low, concede the corner. Ward. Sound is away. Sewell. Knocks it long. Oh, and the foot race was on with his far as foot. He obviously didn't make it. Five minutes to half time. Away by McGraw. Sewell turns his man. That's fouled, but manages to get away. Loses out to Ward. Surely they should have brought that back for the free kick. Ward pulls it back to Sheldon. That's his 14th of the season. Starting to look rather frustrating. Should have been a free kick. Feel a bit robbed. Two minutes to half time now. One minute of injury time remains. Isafarge plays it down the line for Sewell. Doesn't do anything with it. We're just not getting close enough to the make Kai Kai turns. Deflect it out. And go a bit further up the field. Corner now for the MK Dons as they look to add to the tally, but they can't. And how we are losing this, I do not know. Bit of a hairdryer treatment at half time. Here come the Dons again. Get us underway in the second half. So we're having a really good game. Just not getting the supply at the moment. Here come the MK Dons. Careful, should have scored. But he's not cool to nothing from the goal ring and a bit weak at the back. Here they come again. Right, I think we're going to change formation. Robinson. Has it back again. Ward. Wide of the post. We are going to change our formation and we'll positive. There we go. Okay, so the line of gumbo. Um, Glow's going to come off right, Phillips. He's going to play winger. Suda's going to go up front. Is it far as down the left? It's going to come off for Rogelo. Sanders is going to play advanced playmaker. Box to box. Olienka and Andrea is going to play Carolero. Can you play Mitzala? Yes, you can. Attacking one of them. Um, two changes there. Let's get at them. Hopefully, the change of formational help us be a bit more solid at the back, but a bit more attacking and important going forward. Sue, back to the Costa. Right, Phillips is on his bike and he's been found. Tries to cross it. He does. Back post, long jello. 61 seconds, 61 minutes and 50 seconds, and we're back in it. Right, Phillips. That could be Longello's first touch of the ball. We scored in the 62nd minute. And he came on in the 58th. Anyway, okay, so there'll be another couple of minutes. But still, what an impact. Here come the Dons. Robinson. 
Ward crossed in. Kai Kai did hit it. Go for a corner. Just over 3,000. Curtis won the corner. The sun will make their fourth against Doncaster. I'll be Carl Kamara. Away by Ollie Inca. Right, Phillips first on it. And he loves a run, this guy. Well, overruns it, loses the ball, wins the tackle, or concedes the goal kick. And the kid Don's now 20 minutes to go, look to build an attack. Barry, Poole. It's Poole in Wales, because Barry is, that would be interesting in the end contender. To cost down a yellow, wins the ball. Picks up the loose ball after Wright Phillips is challenged. Knocks it inside to Wright Phillips, who gives it all the ink at the Dreha. Tries to find the Costa out wide but fails. The Gungo gives it back to Dreha, who at the second attempt finds the Costa, who loses out. Doncaster pull one back against Sunderland. Sheldon it's the defender, saved by Bergstrom. A Gungo and a Gungo clear between them. Good block there by Ogulumba. Concedes a corner, however. Defensive throw into Costa to the line. Gets it back. Gives it back to the line. Punts one long. Gives possession away. Here come the MK Dons. There's an interesting header back by the Costa there. Using the keeper. Ogulumba gets it from Longello. Back to Ollie Inca to Sanders. Dreher in the centre of the field. Able to run a little. Find right Phillips chance to shoot, he does. And Callagher tips it over the ball. What an interesting 10 minutes of play we've had. Sanders crosses. Away by Poole. Dorai's going to pick up the loose ball. Goes back. Um, do we have anyone to bring on? Maybe not. Maybe we'll bring Barrett on for the Costa. Um, actually, that's a point. Do we bring Sanders on? No, maybe not. We'll bring Barrett on. There we go. Bit of fresh legs, bit of uh, impetus to go down the wing. Dre is going to be a central midfielder. He's going to attack. Confirm. Team instructions. Where are we going to shoot on the site? We're attacking for the last five minutes or so. Garai to right Phillips, back to Barrett. Box it long. Flicked on by Sue, Wade Phillips is in, good save by Callagher. Lovely link up there, my uh, lovely play by Barrett when he comes on. Sanders with a corner. We need a towering header here off someone. It's a poor cross. Straight to Callagher. Three minutes, make that two. 90 seconds of normal time remaining. Bergstrom. The gun go, the gun the gun go. The gun goes along. Sue can't win the header, but Olienka picks up the loose ball and knocks it down the right. Right, Phillips is going to run. He does indeed. Beats two men, crosses. Longcello shoots and scores. Um, transition. Slow the pace down, hold shape, regroup. And in possession, we're not going to overlap. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to dribble less, be more disciplined, and we're going to play for set pieces. Uh, and we're going to do some time wasting now. <sighs> Long Jello with a brace today. Both assists from Wright Phillips. This is the sort of game we needed. Tight, tight game. Showed a bit of class and a bit of guts. It's a lovely left foot volley. Five minutes of injury time to see this game out. Uh, 
three, two. Right, Phillips throws it to Drea. Crosses. Oh, Jello was there for his hat trick. But Kelleher grabs it off his head. The gun ball wins it. Oh, Sheldon. Bartlett. Nearby gun ball. Barry. 90 seconds to go. Sheldon. Ward cross. Curtis. Blocked by young man Barrett, I think. Yes, it was. So we've got 60 seconds to see this out. Over the ball by Bartlett. That'll help. Probably about 30 seconds on the name when we take this. Yep, he's slowing the pace right down. 25 seconds to see it out. 20, you might even get a yellow card here for time wasting if he plays the game right. Uh, Longello to Flanders to Olienka to Longello. 10 seconds. Hold on to the ball, guys. Longello, ooh, right to the challenge from Barry. Sanders knocks it down the right, and that is it. Wonderful three points. Change of formation and the new personnel coming on made the difference. Longello steals the show uh, and steals man of the match from Sue with his good early goal. Um, three points Blythe. That could be the turning point. So we climb to seventh. We've got two games in hand, remember, against most, um, which would put us fourth still. Um, Super Sub Longello, yep, Sue lands his goal drive. Venko gets 90 minutes. Robertson with an assist gets a great 90 minutes under his belt. Um, for Dagenham and Redbridge against York. Bill Ricky gets read 71 minutes. He does okay. Chesterfield, 90 minutes and a goal for um, Leighton Stewart in a one all draw. And Longello is going to get bigged up for his finishing. Perfect. Um, we do want to offer Angle again to uh, other people. So let's just have a look here. Transfer. Um, can't. Maybe that's because of we can only go to where he's at, I guess, maybe. Stevenson is wanted by a few teams. This was Cavallio. Hopefully we can get those deals over the line, because there will be a couple of people on that. Some transfer news. Um, no offers for six players. Active and seek move for Volpe. Yep. And Stevenson, right. So, um, interesting journey. Chorley and Darlington. No one's willing to give us. Actual offer. We're not going to overrun here because of uh, some of the transfer activity and stuff. Sonny gets three, uh, gets his hat trick. It's rather wonderful. Good for him. We've now got Wigan at home coming up, which is a vitally important game. Lots of changes suggested. Some personal training for the guys. 
I am can deal with that. And go is set the same for York. Accept. So let's see what this does to our ability to offer wages. York sign angle. And finances, wages. That's maybe because of the proximity of the wage cap. Um, Forest Green, loan offer for Cavalio. Um, fringe player. So, it's only got about what? Um, February, March, April, May. June, he's only got five months of contract left. So if we said we wanted three grand a month, and we said, oh, you can't put in a thing there, can you? Let's let's withdraw that offer. So let's. Offer the clubs seventeen and a half and thirty percent of the next sale. Sammy's development's doing really well, good for him. Here we go, getting one of our Games and hand back. I think what we're going to do is maybe go with this. Of a lumber struggling, so we're going to play a gungbo there. And Garai can go there, and we can look for Walcott. McGraw for the Rye to Costa and then we've got three out of the Inca and Sanders. Sula is going to go up front. Garai is going to come off from right Phillips and Longello and Forty Safarge. Switch them two around. Them two around. Oops. Um, I oh, didn't mean to do that, I meant to do that. Um, Garai, Sanderson, Barrett, Zetty and Volpe on the bench, so I think that's fine. Um, Sanders is going to come off for Hume. Hume is going to be a Tagi Metzala. And that can be winger attack. I think that's what we're going to go with. Right, so we are running over. I apologise. Hand over to the assistant. Let's go. Say by Bergstrom, Pan was offside. Munoz was offside. Bergstrom, it's for Angelo, finds a gun ball. 
Is it a Dreha? It's gonna look for right Phillips perhaps. No Weir takes it off his toes. The silver. Gives it on the MK. Dreha. Cross for the ball on Jello. Whips on with his left. And it looks like a pretty full crowd today. Off the way end again. Oh Sule! A Sule, sorry, and well, Jello finishes it off, but was offside. Sue wins it. It's going wide and then Jello puts it in. The odds are nearly offside. Right decision though. Longello Olienka. It's nice to say it will create chances. Olienka skips past them again. Picks up the loose ball after being challenged. And again, Rea gets the foot in, but Olienka has it. Inside the Drea. Shoots it to the defender to win. off the first 10 minutes the Costa is Sewell Not wide on the right for some reason Dreha to Olienka to Hume hits one just a little, a little too high right Phillips to Sewell Olienka another great save by Crispini Hume with a corner Angelo another save by Crispini Really kind of just the man of the match, I feel. The glow, Hume, has been a comfortable save. Approach halfway through the first half. Another corner, Hume to take. Angelo's just been who makes a disaster, comes out. Gambles on Longello not getting it. The bad gamble, Longello scores. 1 0 live. Keeping half an eye on what's happening in Tron here as well, but I haven't seen anything flag up. Lang turns his man, crosses Matthew Vidra, and we're level again. Well defensively. Well, it doesn't look that big, maybe three and a half thousand again. And all the hard work is undone. A gun ball on Jello. Crosses. Right Phillips. After the defence failed to clear. Lovely finish. That was a defensive mistake. One. So we're going to score with our only chance so far. Push a little bit towards half time. Try and get a third. Right, Phillips throws it to Sewell, turns, squares it, but he's been up, picks it up. Morsi to Lang. Good challenge by Gumbo. Olienka is going to get there. Just to Hume. To Dreha. Rongelo to Sewell. Offside. Minute to half time. There's two minutes of time on on. Tommy are drawing now to each at home to Fleetwood. And there's a second half. As we veer back to positive outlook without shooting on sight. Right Phillips. That's the defender with his cross. Link not having a great game. Galloway to Weir. <coughs> Lang around the back scores. That is poor. 
in front of the away fans. Alloway, we uh, no pressure on the ball at any point. No one near line. One touch control finishes. Bergstrom weak wrists allows it in the far post. Free kick to Silva to take for Wigan. Bergstrom punches. Vidra from range. And again, just turned on the tape. Big job now, a gumbo to Hume. Fans will be screaming we're going to win 4 3. A gumbo, Alienka. Right, Phillips. Alienka. Oh, good challenge. McGraw uh, to Drea. Inside to Alienka. To Hume. Gets from distance. Plays the ball forward. And goes out for a goal kick. <coughs> Half an hour left. Corner to Wigan. To Silva. Away by Maduro. Vidra loses out to Sewell. So he turns. Oh, he leaves everyone for dead. It's inside. Back to a gumbo. Gumbo to Olienka. Hits it. It will be blocked. Well, the ink is going to make way. Sanders. Not really much else we can do. Quarter of the game to go. Just be on. A gumbo controls easily. We go to a gumbo to the door again. Goes down the, the left, finds Sue. Crosses for right Phillips, puts his head away to the post. Being the better side, have the chances. Nickham Wigan, Flanagan, Juan, Williams, crosses, Bria, Lang. Hume away, right Phillips, oh, we're going back into trouble. 15 minutes to go, we're going to have to go for this. Card. Ten minutes to save the game. Just doesn't look likely. Five minutes to go. Four, three, two, one. Four minutes of injury time. And it just looks like it's going to fizzle away and it's a defeat. And after beating MK Dons at home, what a wasted opportunity this is. Sanders to right Phillips, crosses, blocked. We're going to work it away and get the three points. How we've conceded three today, I do not know. Absolutely diabolical. Hammered them from start to finish. What a missed opportunity. Back in the playoffs, would have put us fourth, we would have had a game in hand against most. Actually angry. Transfer deadline in a week. No offers for Cavallo. Apologies again for the overrun. Um, 
we'll get to the end of this week and call it the end of the episode. Next time we've got Bristol Rovers at home followed by Bolton away. Um, both games would be hoping for three points from. Um, Stevenson on the move. Um, we're just going to accept both of these to get this guy gone. Oh, yeah, I can do the the briefing. Drea is out for three to four months. So we are going to have to look at what's available for signing. Um, but that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, disappointing result there against Wigan. Uh, but come back. The fight continues. Bristol Rovers and Bolton up next. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.